Interventional radiologists have long been on the cutting edge of medicine, driving medical innovation and helping to develop some of the minimally invasive techniques which have become commonplace today. These physicians are specially trained to diagnose and treat conditions using imaging to help guide doctors when they're inserting catheters, wires, and other small instruments into your body. Doctors can use this technology to diagnose or to treat heart and blood vessel blockages without actually having to perform surgery. For patients seeking diagnostic help or treatment for heart-related concerns, Florida Hospital Waterman turns to its team of board-certified interventional radiologists at the Center for Medical Imaging. Diagnostic imaging or radiology is very important. Um, it is actually the centerpiece of all of the medical care performed at Florida Hospital Waterman, which is why actually our department is right in the middle of the entire hospital. Almost every patient that comes into the hospital touches radiology. We're the centerpiece for all the medical care that actually occurs in the hospital. I believe that Interventional radiology is of utmost importance for comprehensive care for any community, particularly this community, but really any, in that really in order to get the best solutions for patients, a team approach is almost always needed. And since we can look at things as both a, diagnost a diagnostician as well as from a surgical standpoint to look at solutions, I think we're uh, very important in helping patients receive the best solution to their problems. The most common scans we do are cardiac imaging uh, to assess the motion of the, of the walls of the heart, to assess the perfusion of the heart with, uh, through the bloodstream. Uh, that's probably our number one exam. Imaging kind of lays the foundation down for the diagnosis of many diseases nowadays. There are many diseases that are first picked up by imaging. For instance, in radiology now, instead of coronary catheterizations, patients are used to getting what's called a heart cath. With the scanner that we have at the hospital, with a 64 slice scanner and the proper techniques, we can perform now uh, coronary CTA. That's in, so instead of getting a catheter, a puncture in your groin, and a catheter brought inside your body, we could perform non-invasive imaging of the circulation to the heart, and then we could help basically risk stratify patients whether they need anything further in a non-invasive way. What's the future of interventional radiology? Well, it's hard to know, of course, the future, but I think it's only expanding because the technology is improving. I think patients are becoming more and more educated and there's more and more demand for minimally invasive solutions to their problems. Uh, because of that, you'll be seeing more and more procedures or solutions to problems with image guidance where patients can have a big problem uh, fixed with uh, you know, uh, minimal downtime and pain. And who's not in favor of that? For more information on the board certified radiologists at the Center for Medical Imaging or to find out more about their numerous imaging procedures, please click the Interventional Radiology Story Link on our homepage at yourhometownhealth.com.